We continue Newsmakers Week, day two on this Wednesday. It is our pleasure to welcome into the Auction Community Studios the head coach of the Arizona State Sun Devils football program, Kenny Dillingham. Coach, thanks for coming in. Great to see you. Of course. Appreciate y'all having me. Um, I don't know if you have time to reflect because the life of a college football coach is, is nonstop, but have you had a little time to reflect on year one, on the, the bumps, uh, you know, the, the peaks, the valleys, all of it, or is it all just forward forward viewing now? No question. I think you have to reflect. I think after the year you have to look back and say, okay, what would I have done different? What would I have done the same? What would I tweak? And, you know, for me, I take notes every week of what I liked, what I didn't like about that week. Maybe it's a, you know, maybe we play on a Friday night or we play a morning game and we want to tweak our Friday night schedule before a morning game schedule. So I kind of have a, 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 not a book written, but essentially a weekly updated things of what we would change. And I go back and look at that and say, okay, uh, what do I actually want to apply mm-hmm. that I took notes on during the season for this next season coming forward? Uh, so it's definitely, it's not a, you know, it's an organized reflection, I would say that. It is a crazy new world in your profession. I don't have to tell you that. We're seeing guys who are head coaches at lesser universities take coordinators' jobs at bigger schools. What Chip Kelly did makes people go, wow. Wow. It's it's a rough time to be a head college football coach in a program trying to get it and make their way. How are you going to handle all this turbulence and weirdness? How are we going to make this happen, Kenny? Yeah, I think you got to hire people, one, that love coaching. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I joke around, but you know how many people want my job? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how many people want my assistant coach's jobs uh-huh. and my analyst jobs and the, and the QB and the GA's jobs? So don't complain about what we do. You're blessed. There's a lot of negative of it, yes. But do you know how many people want to be a college football coach? I literally spent nine years of my life doing anything <laughs> to become a coffee boy. So don't Fantastic. give me don't give me the, oh, it's hard to be a college coach right now. Yeah, it's hard. Then quit. <laughs> that's fantastic. Like, that's how I look that at it. That is fantastic. It's so, you know, you adapt, you adjust, and is it hard? Yes, but if you love it, you're going to do it. Does it pull away from other things? Yes. Find a way to have life balance. Recruit the kids who understand that I'm not going to call you every single day because I'm going to go home to my kids uh, <laughs> and my wife. Like, find the balance that, that works for you, and it's very, very difficult because you never have to turn the switch off. You know, back in the day, started going on a tangent, but you used to just have one phone call a week. Mm-hmm. Now you have unlimited texting. So every single day of the year, every minute, you can be working. And if you're not, you feel like you're being outworked. And that's the greatest, hard, the hardest thing in Ooh, college athletics right tough. now is it? there is never a spot that it says, oh, we can't text a kid. Which means you're constantly working, and if you're not, you're being outworked in your head. And I think for competitors, that is the hardest part about college athletics is you always want to be the best, but in order to be the best, you cannot do anything else because if you do, then somebody else is outworking you. Kenny Dillingham, the head coach of Arizona State Football, our guest here on Bickley and Murata Mornings. Give us a thumbnail. I know recruiting just wrapped up. with You got your class announced. Um, Give us your thumbnail on, on what you were able to bring in both from high school talent and and transfers. Yeah, I think we got longer and bigger. So up front, we gained weight. You know, we were we were light. That was a good thing. Big thing. We needed it. We were light last year. We needed to gain a lot of weight, and we gained that weight up front. Uh, we oversigned the O line and the D line, which means we have more scholarships than most teams have allotted to those positions. Because I think the game is one up front uh, by design, and we were you know we couldn't kick a field goal last year in a game because we didn't have enough big people. Uh, so I think we solved those issues. And on the edge at corner and defensive back. Uh, I think we got longer, you know, some in this nowadays, everything's RPO based. Everything's find a one-on-one and throw the ball over and over again into one-on-ones, the corner position and the ability to cover is a premium. So you have to have length to cover a length or at least elite athleticism. So we got a lot of length in the back end. And then we got, you know, a couple running backs that uh, can go. Mm-hmm. And that was something last year, you know, through the first, I think it was eight weeks of the season, maybe nine weeks, we didn't have a rush for over 20 yards and you're not going to be a good team running the football without running and having explosive runs. So we need some speed back there to create explosive plays. I think we solved that. I, uh, I've I've kind of gotten a kick out of watching some Sun Devils fans kind of process what the schedule looks like next year. Just a lot of new teams you generally haven't faced. And, and some people have described the Big 12 as a bit different. You're going to go into college towns where these football games mean mean more to them than they do in some of these cities in the West Coast. 
how do you think this is going to look? Are you excited for it? What's it going to feel like? What this process is going to be? I'm super excited. I mean, it's sad to see the Pac-12. That's what I grew up in. So, yeah. like, I try not to look at, oh, what we're missing out on mm-hmm. because it's just, it's like, we'll never go back there or there. But looking at the future, I was talking to somebody the other day about this, and it's like, our fans, when they travel to these games, are going to feel a college atmosphere every time. And I said, what do we want to bring here? I want to bring that here. Well, the only way to bring somebody is to show them what it looks like. So our fans that travel are going to see it every week. What it should look like to tailgate. What it should look like to to cheer in unison. What it should look like to pack the stands 35 minutes for a game. They sh- they're going to feel the passion of the league. And I hope that kind of, you know, comes here a little bit and filters here, which I know it can be and it was at one time. But I think just getting in a league like that that everybody is passionate like that I think it's going to get our fan base to even step it up another notch which I thought they did a great job this last year I think it'll be another notch stepped up because you're a product of your surroundings and the closest people to you it's proven our closest people to us are avid football fans Mm -hmm. now Mm -hmm. Kenny Dillingham head coach of the Sun Devils our guest here on uh, Bickley and Murata mornings for Newsmakers Week uh, Jaden Rashada came in last year. Lots of hype. Uh, never really got off the ground due to the injury. Came back for the last game. Um, and then you bring in a, a transfer, Sam Levitt, from, from Michigan State. Tell us about how you foresee that competition going and a, a little bit about both of these candidates and, and, and you know, their their place in the program right now. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, you know, I have a great relationship with Jaden. You know, I've recruited him for a long time. Uh, Sam, I recruited for a long time as well. I was his first offer when I was at Florida State. Uh, so I've recruited both those kids for the, for over four years. Uh, and what they both, the competition is just as simple as that. Like I told Jaden, we're going to bring in somebody to compete. I'm going to bring in the best player I can find. I told Sam, yeah, you got to beat him out. It's a competition. So there's not... I know I wish there was like a fancy little thing. It's just may the best man win. Mm -hmm. And then you have Trenton there who's, you know, been a a really, really solid, smart, you know, leader, a guy people follow. And so I think it'll be a good competition. And what they both bring is, you know, Sam Sam brings, he's a good athlete. He moves really well off platform throws, moving out of the pocket uh, a little bit. Uh, I haven't seen him throw live in a few years, but I, his tape from Michigan State is super savvy. You can see it on tape. You see Jaden, who's got the ability and the arm strength as good as probably any quarterback in the country. Um, so you have, and then we already know, everybody knows Trenton. So I think it's a good comp- competition. I think everybody's a little different, which mm-hmm. is the fun part. So I think the competition is a combination of not only who the best is, but what player skill set fits the other guys around them the best. Mm. And I think that's a hidden part of the competition people don't think about is it's a puzzle. There's 10 other people in the puzzle, then there's the quarterback, right? Which quarterback fits the puzzle of our team the best to help this team win? All right. One of the things after the season was over that, that Sun Devil fans were excited about is you, you sort of started to kind of like leak out your excitement down the recruiting trail. One, two, and, and, and the building excitement of all that. Uh, there was also renewed excitement from some of the donors in the program. How is that whole thing going? I hate dwelling on NIL, but the yep. fact remains you're also in charge of a salary cap of sorts. You're yeah. in charge of money and distributing <laughs> it. So how's that going? It's going well. I mean, I think the fans have really stepped up. I think the Valley is starting to step up. Uh, way, I mean, we're not even close to where it was, you know, 15 months ago. It's not even the same organization from a standpoint of the NIL and the support that we've received. So kudos to everybody, Arizona State, the Valley. Now, is it what I think this place can be? No. I still think we have people who don't like it, which, crap, not everybody likes it. I get it. I understand. It's reality. It's the reality. It's like taxes, right? If you don't (laughs) like it, then you're still going to pay your taxes. Okay. (laughs) So it's one of those things that I think the more people get educated on it, and understand that, you know, there was a guy, a kid at Florida who just bought a house for his mom with his NIL money. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a pretty cool story. And I know it's another school and talking about it, but it's it's the money still going to people that are associated with Arizona State football that you're going to watch, that you're going to have affiliation with. And 
I think the Valley is getting behind us. But I also know this state loves a winner. And I got to do our job in the next two to three years to show that we're going to win football games. And when that happens, everybody rallies behind it. I'm mm-hmm. born and raised here. If you're losing games, nobody shows up. You're winning games, good luck buying a ticket. Right, yeah. And that's the Valley. That's what it is. Yeah. People move here when they're successful and they retire and they live here forever because they're a winner. They want to follow a winner. We got to get <laughs> them there. We just need some people to help us get there in the college state of athletics. And then the Valley will take care of itself once we get to that level. Kenny, thanks so much for yeah, uh, coming Yeah, I'm going to go run through this for wall for you, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. I'm fired up, man. Too, yeah. I'm fired up. I, I am, too. Thanks so much for coming you, in. Kenny. Great, great to see you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you all having we'll, me. We'll talk soon. Kenny Dillingham, the uh, head coach of the Arizona State Sun Devils, joining us in studio for Newsmakers Week. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.